Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Patreon podcast. Forgive my voice, I'm just getting over being sick again. Um, it was a wild 24 hours, but I'm feeling much better now. Uh, this week, I wanted to talk about the idea of defining your own success. And traditionally, and for my spell, myself especially, but I always felt that being successful was also being rich and famous, and everybody knew you and loved you and all that other stuff. And through the passage of time, <laughs> I've, I've realized that success is a, a wide spectrum of different ideas that can be pretty much anything you want. Um, <clears throat> one thing I've been watching a lot on YouTube is uh, mini documentaries about street vendors of New York. And they definitely don't seem wealthy, um, but they're so incredibly happy. And they have so many people that they serve and that they make food for and that they, they like work for every day. They have regulars, they have friendships and stuff. And it, it seems that they are, for all intents and purposes, extremely successful, even though they're not living in mansions. And I think that it's, it's important to go and, and try to sit down and define what would be success for you. And that does change over time as well. Um, <clears throat> when I was younger, like I said, I was like, oh, well, I'm going to I'm going to be super rich making music and people are going to love everything that I do and all, and all this stuff. And that's not, that's not really how I feel anymore. <clears throat> at the, at the moment, I feel more that my success is defined by my financial stability. And that doesn't mean rich. That just means that I can absorb, uh, random life events that happen. And <laughs> this year they seem to be happening a lot. Um, but that's the point where it's like I am successful with my creative work to the point where I am able to sustain myself and to absorb some of these financial burdens that kind of appear out of nowhere. And <clears throat> I think that that's important. Like I have longer term goals where I want to retire early, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm rich. That just means that I've planned things out to the point where I am able to survive off of my income before my retirement 401k or survive off of my creative income before my retirement 401k kicks in, which for me requires uh, basically paying off my mortgage and a bunch of other small things. So it's like <clears throat> there's a lot of these ideas that to be successful you have to have this huge grandiose plan and you have to you know make it huge and have millions of followers and all this other stuff and honestly that is a great way to demotivate you because that doesn't really happen and if it does happen it's often not your fault it's often through the people that you know or just random happenstance um, and it's, it's hard to put your goals on something that's out of your control. And we've, we've talked about that before where your goals should be something that are not only attainable, but within your control. So <coughs> my goal, like I said, is to pay off my mortgage, hopefully within like five years or so. And I think that that's one, it's ambitious considering how much I have left on it, but one, it's attainable and two, it's completely under my control. I just have to be financially stable and I have to be financially conscious of what I do. And <clears throat> that completing that goal will be a huge success for me. It'll be a huge success for me in my career because that gives me so much more flexibility when I'm not paying that, you know, huge mortgage every month. I'll be able to bank that and I'll be able to invest that and, and to better myself creatively. And I think that that is really a huge boon when it comes to how I want to live my life and how those successes for me, how those successes will better my life and uh, allow me to make more things in the future. So that's, that's really what I wanted to talk about here. It's 
kind of just recontextualizing the idea of success because um, the the traditional idea of success is not really alignable with with personal goals. So I I, I hope that uh, this kind of helped you better realize what success might be for you. And it might not be financial at all. Like that's the other thing. It might be build a small community or it might be, you know, change somebody's life for the better through your art or, you know, any, any of that stuff. It doesn't have to be money. Um, money is just a really, <laughs> it's just a really good way of, uh, of, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. It's just a really good way of, um, counting everything. Cause it's a, it's a number. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, that's all I have for this one. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being a patron supporter, Patreon supporter. And thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you in the next one. Be remarkable.